Hey guys, welcome to another video on the Blue Abroad YouTube channel. We've got some news. We've got some important news, some monumental news at the high level of the Carlton Football Club. So we've just been notified uh, that the club has informed us, the members, that Luke Sayers will seek an extension of his terms his term of office as president of the Carlton Football Club. Now, this was one of the core and fundamental questions that I had going into season 2024, because one thing we knew was that Sayers had, had, will have served his 12 years of service on the board at the Carlton Football Club at the end of this season. And the options are really to go one of two ways. Option one was his term concludes and we move forward, we assign ourselves a new president and we go from there. Or number two, there is a provision in the constitution which allows the current serving president to extend their term by a further 12 months. So that was the path that we knew we were going down. We knew that at some point between now and the end of season 2024, we would have the answer to that question. We now have the answer to that question. So this, just reading this, from the club's website. Uh, so the members are permitted to extend the director's term of office beyond their 12 years by ordinary resolution at the club's annual general meeting. So this will provide important stability at board level in order to allow the club to continue to fulfill its five year strategic plan, which has begun strongly in its first two years since the appointment of Sayers as president and Brian Cook as CEO at the end of 2021. The club's board of directors unanimously supports the approval of the proposed resolution in order to maintain the stability that has been built across all facets of the club. So Luke says, there's a quote here saying, we have worked incredibly hard to build this new era for the Carlton Football Club. The hard work is not over though, and I feel I have an obligation to ensure we maintain the commitment we made to our members when I became president two years ago. The, this additional 12 months will not only provide us with the stability to continue to achieve our strategic objectives, but it will help ensure that we are creating a Carlton that will be successful for the long term on and off the field. In the last two years, we've undergone significant change with half the board, a new president, a new CEO, and new AFL and AFLW senior coaches. Now, I feel I have a crucial job to bed down those changes and to provide support and stability to our CEO, our footy department, and to all our coaches and players as they strive for success. It is the greatest privilege to serve as our passionate and supporters members and I want to thank each and every one of them. Their support to date has been central to the significant growth that we have seen, and I want to continue making them proud to be Carlton people. So this, for me, is good news. I was leaning towards this for a couple of reasons. Number one, the word stability was mentioned a few times in, in this piece on the Carlton website. I'm going to be honest, stability is just not something I have associated with the Carlton Football Club as a supporter up until probably the last 12 months. And I don't think we proved stability as a football club until we went through the patch in 2023. We held firm, we didn't sack coaches, and we saw the club as a whole come out of it the other end better for it. So I think it's a good option I mean, I've dealt with Luke a couple of times. To me, as someone who runs the channel, he's the only president that I've known who has been uh, willing to give his time to the channel, to the members, to the fan engagement platform that we've built. Uh, I think one of the monumental interviews I have ever done is actually the one after the preliminary final. Uh, I got a call on Sunday night asking if I would be down to chat with Luke uh, on that Monday morning. He was sick. Uh, he wasn't feeling well, but he still did the interview. And I think the raw authenticity, like the Carlton man in Luke Sayers was there for us to all see. I think also the first time he came onto the channel, remember we did, we did a live stream. So that's a very different dynamic to a pre-recorded interview. You know, you're on the spot, anything can happen. And the way he was willing to try something new. Now this live stream that we did originally, this was at the height of our frustration. You know, so I, I just look at those two pieces of content that we've done on the channel, not for the content themselves, but I think what they represent, and that is 
Luke's willingness and, you know, the, I guess, you know, he's the president of the football club. So the leader and the head of the football club and the board being willing to come and talk to the general members and fans of the football club in the new age, in the digital age. You know, I've been talking a lot about how are we going to stay ahead of the rest of the competition off the field with our communication with the members. And it wasn't so long ago that the communication and the transparency and the, avail the availability of our senior figureheads of the football club was under scrutiny. And, and fair enough, it did feel like at times we weren't able to have a channel of communication. Whereas we now have the vehicle, we also now have you know, senior members of the football club coming and speaking to us on these platforms and, and really moving us forward into the future and, and evolving with the landscape of the fan and the digital fan, the one that now is able to be plugged into the Carlton Football Club 24-7 if they want to. So uh, I, I like this. I like the stability. I believe from the football that I've watched, not only from Carlton, but just in my life it's, it's, and sport in my life, it's generally the clubs, the teams, the organisations that have the stability, that have the consistency of the same people there over a long period of time um, are the ones that in the long term see sustained success. I think of the San Antonio Spurs, for example, <clears throat> you, know, I, you know, these organisations, the Miami Heat, uh, stability at the top end, uh, generates consistency on the field or on the court. So I like it. Uh, I, I do believe there is room. I mean, to play devil's advocate, you know, who's to say that, um, you know, the first half of 2023 shouldn't be looked at? Um, who's to say we shouldn't have waited? I can potentially see that point. I like that this has been decided now. Uh, I think had it come during the season, you know, potentially after a couple of losses. Emotions are high and judgment errors can be made when decisions are made in times of high emotion. Uh, I don't expect there us to be in a, a hole like we were in 2023. I expect us to have a, a greater level of consistency on the field. Uh, and it, it just feels like we just got over the, the greatest challenge that this club had endured for a long time. And so the stability piece for me is paramount. Uh, and I don't believe that extending Luke Sayers for 12 months will be a detriment to the club. I only see it as being something that will help the club continue to be stable. So that's one core piece of the puzzle. Brian Cook is the next question that we will come to at some point in the year. Michael Voss will be the third piece of the puzzle. Now, there are already reports suggesting that Michael Voss will be a you know, signing a contract extension. So I'm not so worried about that. But, you know, all of a sudden in the space of, you know, three to four weeks, we've gone from asking the question, what's happening with our president, our CEO and our coach? We now have a little bit more clarity around where well, the president's going to stay. The coach is imminently about to sign an extension based off the reports that we're reading and seeing. And then the CEO, we don't have any information about Brian Cook's tenure after 2024, but I'm sure that that will come at some point. So it's new territory. It's new territory, having stability. And I just hope that with the stability that we have, no, no complacency kicks in. I hope that we don't, I hope that there's no feeling of, you know, within the club, anywhere in any department that, oh, you know, we got over the hump played finals, made a prelim, and you know, it's time to relax now and oh, everything's gonna be okay. Uh, I think the stability has been earned over a long period of time and it's come through many lessons over a long period of time. And my hope is that no complacency kicks in. I trust the people that are there, very high operators in everything that they've done in their careers, both in a sporting sense and in just in an organizational landscape, in a corporate landscape. and. I know that the word corporate and organization, uh, they're not words that many supporters like to hear, but the reality is the Carlton Football Club is an organization and needs to be, needs to be maintained as such. And so that comes with uh, the, the need to have people who have experience in these high level organizations. So uh, a very interesting update indeed, uh, I'm, I'm for it. Uh, I am definitely someone that is a supporter of Luke Sayers and what he's been able to do 
for the club, uh, also uh, for the supporters as well, making himself available. I think, I think that piece in itself is, is critical uh, because that was one of the missing pieces only two years ago. We didn't have a line of communication with our senior figureheads um, as a digital supporter base. So that's my view, uh, but please, I would like to hear and read what you have to say. There is no, you know, what I think is not the right way, not the wrong way, it just is what I think. Um, I'd be fascinated to, to see what you think about this news. Uh, share with us your thoughts in the comments below. Let's have a bit of a discussion about it and uh, we'll go from there. Go Blues.